For the Zoom 7 Z Trig option, we're going to deselect all of our functions and then we will set y5 equal to sine of x and press enter. I want you to see what this looks like on the regular graphing screen. So in the regular Z standard viewing screen, the sine function looks rather flat. So going to zoom and selecting option 7 for Z trig, look at this, much better shape. Basically, since I'm in radian mode, it's going from negative 2 pi to 2 pi for the x's, and then the y ranges from negative 4 to 4, giving much better shape to my sine function. Now this is good. The default settings for this 7z trig option are great because most instructors want to see two periods of sine and cosine, which is what this will give you in degree or radian mode. Now, the one caveat is that you must change your mode before selecting Z7. So if you want to set your functions in radians, make sure you select radian mode, set your function, and then choose the Zoom 7 Z trig screen. This is a source of frustration for a lot of students because their functions may be in radians and then their viewing screen is in degrees. 